I wanted to just share one thing that I think is very important. I've shared on two calls so far this week already, um, especially as we prep for, um, as as Ben said, you know, the next six months at least, right? As as a as a focus area, and that one thing is clarity. All right, clarity, being clear, uh, and being clear on a couple of things. I'm going to give you a couple of um, areas that I think are important. You can add areas of clarity to this if, if you want, because everyone is, you know, different. But overall, um, I think these are the, the main five areas as it relates to this business. Not all areas of your life, but at least this, at least this business. Number one, be clear on what you're selling. <laughs> what you're selling. OK, um, I think that what makes Live Good wonderful is that you can find your lane. You, if you want to sell, for, if you want to lead with the opportunity, then know what you're selling. What you're selling is not an opportunity. What you're selling is freedom. What you're selling is, you know, time. What you're selling is, um, you know, lifestyle. Right. That, that's what you're selling. So be clear. You're not selling Live Good. You're, you're selling the benefit of Live Good. All right. If you're leading with the product then, you know, I would recommend that, yes, although we do have a plethora of different things, I, I'm a marketer and I am, I'm I'm going to probably always be of, of the mindset that um, if you give people too many options up front without getting a lead in, it's going to be tough, right? So find one thing that you want to lead with. I'm not saying don't sell other stuff. Hear what I'm saying? I'm saying if you love the coffee, like I love the coffee, right? If, if I'm a product person, I'm going to sell. I'm going to probably lead with coffee and then expose people to other stuff. You got to get people in the door. So know what you're selling. Be clear on that. Second thing that you want to be clear on would be who you're selling to. Okay. Um, I, I don't you're not selling to everybody, right? You, you're not selling meat to vegans. I, I don't care how great the meat is and I don't care how quality and I don't care who made it and where it's being distributed from. You're not going to sell that to everybody. You're only going to sell it to people who enjoy quality meat. So get really clear on who you want to sell to, who your target market is. Nada talks about the single moms. And so, so listen, who do you want to sell the thing that you're selling to? OK, the third thing that you want to get clear on is how to consistently stay in front of the who. If you're going to sell to single moms, if you're going to sell to single dads, if you're going to sell to entrepreneurs, if you're going to sell to, um, you know, exercise enthusiasts or fitness buffs, then how can you stay in front of that market consistently enough until those people recognize that you are there to serve them? Right. If you pop in and pop out and pop in and pop out, what happens is that people see you, then they don't see you. And out of sight is out of mind. It's just a natural state of the way people process information. So find a way to consistently stay in front of those people and get clear on whatever that modality is so that you can kind of hone in on that and just be like the go to person for that. The fourth thing would be get clear on what you're going to say to the people. Right. Get, just get clear on a simple thing that you're going to say to those people. You know, Nada says, hey, have you heard about what's going on with Live Good? OK, for some of you guys, it's going to be great. For other people, it's not going to work so much. So through your trial and error, through your assessment of what you're doing, figure out the thing that gets people say, huh, no, what is that? Or no, tell me more. Like whatever that is. You're going to have to be creative, all right, and, and maybe figure it out. But use the advice of the group here and your leaders and the team as well, but craft something where you're clear. And now you say this thing the majority of the time because you know it's going to give you the response that you're looking for. That's what this is about, right? Uh, and then the fifth thing is get clear on really how to present the solution that Live Good offers, right? And when I say present the solution, hey, it may be a meeting that you're presenting a solution. It may be a Zoom that you're presenting a solution. It may be the video, the Ben video. It may be you've done the presentation and recorded it and you got it on YouTube or whatever, right? It may be some way that is different than another way, but get clear on how you're going to present the solution so that you know that consistently, if I do this thing 
50 times, 25 times, people are going to say yes, right? And, and keep it, keep doing that thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you do have to figure out what works. <laughs> so give yourself time to figure out what works. Get clear on these five things at the minimum, I would say. Um, and then roll into 2024, uh, really having an understanding and, and an entrepreneurial hat on and a clarity built so that you can kind of run and feel good and get excited and um, experience a lot of growth. So hope that helps everyone. And back over to you, Ben.